Lifted high over the clouds up into the blue sky. Hearts open wide, hands lifted high over the clouds up into the blue sky. Hearts open wide, hands lifted high over the clouds up into the blue sky. Hearts open wide, hands lifted high over the clouds up. Listen close, for we've got a tale to tell ya. The tale of a battle so fishy, it'll give you chills in your gills. Hit it, Nosebeard! I once had an uncle named Thomas Crippuncle who painted his unicorn red. Battle squids, battle squids. No! Tell the kids how all the fish are disappearing from the ocean. Martians from Pluto like practicing judo while balancing forks on their head. Battle squids, battle squids. Come on, get to the part about the squidudes and squidettes battling for the few remaining fish. I'm friends with a gopher who works as a chauffeur. He drives us all crazy, you see. Battle squids, battle squids. How will they win the fish if they don't know about the team challenges? If you think that it's neato to eat with your feet, oh, then sing this last line out with me. Battle squids, battle squids, battle squids. Arg! Worst theme song ever. Hello everyone, I'm so glad you're joining us. My name is Lydia and I will be your sea captain today. Ahoy! We are starting a brand new series called Battle Squids. Are you pumped? Are you excited? Me too. We're going to have a blast today. But best of all, we're going to battle our way through another book of the Bible, the book of Proverbs. Can you open your Bible to the book of Proverbs? Take a look. Proverbs is really close to the middle of the Bible, just after Psalms. Does anyone know what the word proverb means in the Bible? Take a look at our definition. Proverb is a small saying filled with big wisdom from God. The book of Proverbs is packed with these wise sayings that help us live a godly life. During Battle Squids, we'll be looking at one of these proverbs each week. In fact, let's reveal our first proverb right now. Can you open your Bibles to Proverbs 16, 16? It says, It is much better to get wisdom than gold. It is much better to choose understanding than silver. That's Proverbs 16, 16. Sounds pretty wise, doesn't it? For the rest of our time together, we'll be battling to figure out what exactly that proverb means. Squidoos, if you're ready for battle, wave your tentacles and cheer. Squidettes, if you're ready for battle, wave your tentacles in the air and cheer. All right, squidoos and squidettes, I think we're ready. 
In the Bible, during the reign of the kings, there was a young king named Solomon. One night, while he was sleeping, God visited young Solomon in a dream and said, Ask for anything you want me to give you. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? If you could have anything you wanted, what would you ask for? Let's see what Solomon asked God for. Let's turn in our Bibles to 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9. 1 Kings is the 11th book in the Old Testament. And it says, So give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Who can possibly rule over this great nation of yours? Did you hear that? Solomon could have asked for great riches or a long life, but instead he asked for wisdom, the ability to make good decisions. God was so pleased with Solomon's request that he gave him both incredible wisdom and enormous riches. Later on, two women came to Solomon to help settle an argument. The first woman was very upset and said, she took my baby while I was sleeping. The second woman said, no way, that baby is mine. Enough, Solomon yelled. He had an idea. He asked his servants to bring him a sword. Solomon said, we'll just cut the baby in two. Then you can both have half. Time out. I thought Solomon had asked for wisdom, but that just sounds plain crazy. I hope he knows what he's doing. As Solomon raised the sword, the first lady stopped him. My master, she said, please give her the baby. Don't kill him. Solomon knew at that moment who the baby belonged to. Give the baby to the first woman he ordered. She is his mother. When the people of Israel heard about Solomon's decision, they knew that God had given him incredible wisdom. Were you all listening to the story? I sure hope so, because it is time for the feeding frenzy. Here's how it works. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to see if you can answer these questions correctly. Now, if you want to, you can grab your siblings, you can grab your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, anyone in the house with you, and you guys can compete against each other. So, here we go. Question one, how did God speak to young Solomon? Was it A, through an angel, B, through a prophet, C, through a vision, or D, through a dream? Did you guess D? If you did, you got it right. Okay, question two. What is wisdom? Is it A, the ability to make good decisions? B, the ability to know a lot of things? C, the ability to get good grades? Or D, the ability to outsmart people? Did you guess A? If you did, you got it right. Okay, question three. In addition to wisdom, what else did God give Solomon? Was it A, incredible strength? B, fabulous hair? C, enormous riches? Or D, the ability to talk to squirrels? If you guess C, enormous riches, you are correct. Okay, question four. What happened to the second woman's baby? A, he was kidnapped. B, he died. C, he fell down a well. Or D, he got lost. Did you guess B? If you did, you're correct. It is B. Okay, here we go, question five. What did the first woman do that convinced Solomon she was a real mom? Was it A, she broke down crying? B, she grabbed Solomon's sword? C, she showed him a birth certificate? Or D, she gave her baby up? Did you guess D? If you did, you're correct. Great job, everyone. Did you guys get most of the answers correct? Squidudes, how did you guys do? Squidettes, how about you? Good job, everyone. Let's get back to our story. I'm wondering something. Do you think Solomon ever planned on cutting the baby in two? No, he didn't. So why do you think he said he would? Solomon knew that if he threatened to cut the baby in two, 
the real mom would give the baby up to save his life. It was Solomon's way of figuring out which woman was really the mother. That was pretty wise of him, wasn't it? In fact, God had given Solomon so much wisdom that he wrote most of the wise sayings in the book of Proverbs. Do you remember the wise saying we looked at earlier? Let's look again. Can you open your Bibles to Proverbs 16, verse 16? It is much better to get wisdom than gold. It is much better to choose understanding than silver. Proverbs 16, verse 16. Solomon wrote those words. He could have asked God for anything in the world. He could have asked for a bazillion dollars. He could have asked for a gold chariot with sweet rims. He could have asked for a unicorn with laser eyes. But Solomon knew that the greatest thing in the world was to have wisdom, the ability to make good decisions. That's why he said it is much better to get wisdom than gold. So who do you think we can go to for that kind of wisdom? That's right, God is the source of all understanding, so we can go to him for wisdom. He can help us make good decisions in our life. I'm curious, do any of you have a situation right now that you could use wisdom for? Is there something that you need God's help figuring out? We can go to God for wisdom in each of these situations. In fact, there are three ways we can go to God for wisdom. But instead of me just telling you what they are, I'm going to act them out. Let's see if you can guess what they are. Did you guess the Bible? If you did, you're right. The Bible is full of wisdom from God. And the more we read it, the more we can make good decisions in our life. Okay, let's do the next one. Did you guess praying? If you did, you're right. In the same way that Solomon asked God for wisdom, we can pray and ask him for wisdom too. There's one more way though. Did you guess Jesus dying on the cross? If you did, way to go. True wisdom begins by having a relationship with Jesus. Becoming a follower of Jesus is the wisest thing you could ever do. It's the best decision you could ever make. There are a lot of people who spend their whole lives trying to get lots of money and lots of stuff, but God says that having wisdom is way better. Let's be like Solomon and spend our lives getting wisdom from God, the one true source of all understanding. In fact, let's pray for wisdom right now. God, I pray that you would give us wisdom as we're making decisions with our lives. I pray that you would give us the tools to make the right decisions. And I pray, God, that you would help us to hear your words and hear your guidance, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Well, squidudes and squidettes, that wraps up our time for today. But we'll see you back next week for part two of Battle Squids. See you later, sailors.